Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video we are talking about the new FPS tactical shooter from Riot Games called Valorant. And if you haven't heard of Valorant then I don't know where you've been because it's been all the talk in the town for the past couple of months. The game has been in development for quite a while now and there have been numerous character sneak peeks, gameplay trailer reveals and things like that and obviously there have been comparisons to Overwatch. In the past week Riot invited various streamers and content creators to actually try out the game and to record some footage and that has all been showcased now and earlier today there were almost 1 million concurrent viewers who tuned into the Twitch rival stream where thousands of beta keys were also available for viewers to collect and claim. Ahead of the closed beta launch which is scheduled for next week April the 7th 2020 on PC. So moving on, most of you know that I've been playing Overwatch for the past three years but you might not know that I actually don't have an FPS background. I haven't played all that much CSGO or Call of Duty and I actually played League of Legends before I moved to Overwatch. Being someone who played a lot of MMORPGs and MOBAs, Overwatch was really different but what really drew me in was the different characters and their abilities and how the gameplay was focused around that. And at its core, Overwatch catered to everyone, both casuals and pros. It was like a hybrid between an FPS and a MOBA and it was really easy to get into and it didn't have that focus on traditional FPS elements. So the reason I bring that up is because there has been a lot of comparisons between Valorant and Overwatch and this this is my perspective as someone who hasn't really played that much FPS games before and seeing is Valorant really the Overwatch killer that people are saying it is? And just how similar is it to Overwatch given that there are different heroes and they all have different abilities in their skill sets? So let's start with the core gameplay. Based on what I've seen so far, Valorant is much more heavily inspired by games like Counter-Strike than Overwatch with its round based economy as well as bomb sites and there's a lot more heavy emphasis on actual skill and guns. In terms of the main game mode in Valorant, it's very similar to Counter-Strike where the attacking team has a bomb or as it's called the spike where they need to plant on a site. This is very different to Overwatch which has different game modes and is more around sort of capturing an objective compared to um, Valorant which is about planting a bomb and defusing it. In Valorant each match is 5v5 with 25 total rounds so that means that the first team to take 13 rounds wins the match. In each round each player only has one life and any weapons that they want to use will have to be bought at the beginning of a round even though they're carried over from the previous round if they've survived. What this means is that it's a lot easier to get killed or actually get a kill in Valorant compared to Overwatch. In Valorant most of the weapons are capable of getting one shot kills even though there are many different varieties including assault rifles, light machine guns, shotguns and sniper rifles. So as you can see from the core gameplay Valorant is just completely different to Overwatch and at its heart it's really a tactical shooter which brings me to the agents or the heroes as well as their abilities and the role that they play in the game. So in Valorant there are currently 10 characters and they're known as agents so in this respect it's sort of similar to Overwatch where they are all very distinct and have different skill sets. They each have special abilities and these can either be bought before the round or earned during elimination throughout the match. Match. So every agent has one signature ability that they get for free at the beginning of the round but they also have a unique ultimate ability that they can earn by getting kills throughout the round. Even though all the agents have very unique abilities they all have the same amount of health and identical hitboxes so there's no such thing as separate categories of agents such as tank support DPS, they all essentially are the same. Now the use of the characters abilities and the role that they play is very different between Valorant and Overwatch as well. In Overwatch most of the game revolves around the hero's abilities and how they're used and often they can determine the outcome of a team fight. Whereas in Valorant while abilities are important their role is more tactical in nature and serve to supplement your gunplay and being good with abilities won't win the round for you. The game places a lot more emphasis on how well you can actually shoot rather than how well you can actually use your abilities although you probably need to master both if you want to get really good at the game. Having said all that it's pretty evident that Valorant and Overwatch are two completely different games and they cater to different audiences. I'd say that Overwatch is probably more appealing to your casual everyday player even though it does have professional play whereas Valorant is a lot more heavy on the technical and tactical aspects of a traditional FPS shooter. I also want to note that visually Valorant might not be the most pretty or gorgeous game out there especially compared to Overwatch um, because it's Blizzard and their art direction is just fantastic but I think what Riot is going for here is to create something that everyone can play bearing in mind that Valorant is free 
and really try and nail down the technical aspects of being a shooter, such as the servers, the lag, the input times, as well as the precision of the gunplay. Do I think Valorant is the Overwatch killer? Well, no, because Overwatch has already killed itself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, no, they're completely different games, but I do think there will be many existing Overwatch players who move over to Valorant because they come from an FPS background and probably have played CSGO and probably will really enjoy this and look for opportunities to get good at this new FPS shooter. Whereas for other Overwatch players who are more keen about things like hero abilities and not so much tactical gunplay, then Valorant might not be for them. Anyway guys, that's a wrap for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Now I want to hear from you, so sound off in the comments below and tell me what you think of Valorant. Are you excited for it and what do you think of the gameplay? Is Valorant the ultimate Overwatch killer that everyone is saying it is? Let me know down below. Anyways, have a great day and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.